happy 4th of July. This is Tamer Elgini at the John Lindsay Muscle Contest, the IFBB Patriots here in Sin City. And this really was hot here. I'll tell you this, on the last 14 years that I have been judging, this was one of the strongest lineups on bodybuilding, fitness, bikini figure. This girls look absolutely stunning. 23 of the most beautiful women you ever, ever see. So this is very, very difficult to judge. I'm gonna start here with third place, the most beautiful woman you could ever think coming from Florida, Noi Alexander. Noi, I remember when you first started competing with us, you needed to work on your glutes, you need to work on this, you need to work on that, and now you're coming here on this show and the crowd goes crazy when you come in. Small, tiny little waist. Where are you from originally? I'm from Laos. Um, I was raised in Hawaii, but born in Laos. So my ethnicity, ethnicity is uh, Southeast Asian. So I have a very, very hard time building the booty. So it's not in my genetic genes to have a big butt. <laughs> I tell you this, you got one of the best booties in the world now. You really work for that booty. You did a lot of squats. Tell me, what's your favorite muscle group to work out, Noi? My favorite muscle group would, would have to be my glutes. Um, but my favorite exercise, even though it's not conventional for glutes, are deadlifts. My favorite. How many times a week you work out? Just about every day, counting cardio. But for uh, weights, I do five days a week. Um, so I do like two on or three on and one off. For all these fans that you have here, you made really amazing improvements on your glutes. What will be one of the tips that you'll be giving to the fans of girls that are looking up to you to build up the glutes? What do you think some of the best exercises you have done to really make that change? Well, first of all, don't be afraid to lift heavy. Um, meaning heavy doing like hip thrusts, um, different things where you're using just your glutes and not your legs. Like Squats are great, but concentrate more on using the glutes, like hip thrusts and um, hyperextensions are great. And then you have a lighter day for definition. So you got to do a heavy day and a light day. So training glutes all the time, climbing stairs, treadmill and an uphill climb. Mix it up. Okay, these guys are tired to have you talk. Show them these glutes. Show them these glutes. This is Noy Alexander's top of the line glutes here the Patriots. Wow. Now, let me turn to a second place here. The beautiful Tamara Haidad. Tamara, wow. You really came really, really far. Come a little closer to me. Don't be afraid to be close to me. There you go. Tamara, like you made so many improvements from your first show to now. You have been really fighting your condition. Some shows you're too lean. Some shows you're not lean enough. But today you just nailed. You beat some heavy, heavy weights today. You know, some really heavy weights. So tell me, what did you do different for this prep? compared to the other shows? Well, I think it's a progression in time uh, with your training. So you should be, if you're hitting the, the weights hard and you're on your nutrition, you should be making improvements every week, every few weeks. So um, from the last show to this one, I believe I improved even more. I think some people think they cannot improve while dieting down, but there's improvements to be made at all times. So I hit my legs hard, I hit my hamstrings a little harder, my glutes, and worked on my hamstring tie, my calves. And I made a change, and I came in a little drier, a little leaner, a little tighter, and I'm really thrilled with what happened today. Wow, unbelievable placing. Some of the, like, really top Olympia competitors who are here competing on the Patriots today, and Tamara be them. So this is an amazing accomplishment. Now, Tamara, you're still not qualified to the Olympia, and I'm sure you want to be on that stage. Oh, yeah. So what is the game plan right now to make the enough points to hit that stage? You know, I got to take it back to the drawing board with my coach and talk about it and see what the next step is. But I'm going to go hard until I get the qualification. So what's the next show? That's going to be determined soon. <laughs> ah, I like that. She's holding that back to let her coach from Team Edge make that decision. Well, now I'm going to turn to a very special person on my heart. And I say this because she competes very often on our shows. And the last show she came to our show, she didn't even place in the top five. She was off. 
and she's the most humble. She's a great representative to our sport. She was so graceful. From Canada, Justine Moreau. Hello. <laughs> Justine, last, last time you were in a muscle contest show, I think you placed seven, eight? I actually did two muscle, show, uh, muscle contest shows last year, which I actually got seventh in both shows. And now you came here and you look so stunning. You just placed second in the Arnold. I got to believe, I got to believe you're going to be one of the contenders for the Olympia crowd. And the most beautiful thing about you is not your body, it's your personality. Because, you know, it's not all the time that we win. Sometimes things don't do very well. And I remember very well when things didn't win your well, well for you, how graceful you are, how understandable you are, and applaud other people that were in front of you. So tell me what you did to do this crazy turnaround from seventh place on a show here to getting second on the Arnold and now winning this show. I'm, I'm speechless. Um, I, I don't even know what to say at this point. Today has been such a, an amazing day and an, an amazing experience for me. And just coming, you know, coming to the show just not knowing I was trying to bring in the best that I could bring in because I know that both shows I did before, um, you know, my lower body has always been more dominant. And it was one thing that the judges always gave me feedback on was, you know, you know, make yourself more balanced, bring down your, your lower half. And that's one thing I've been working with my, my coach Kimoto with and uh, just trying to bring that overall balanced physique. So my training really consists of a lot of you know, functional explosive movements. I'm very athletic, so I do a lot of sprint training. I do a lot of just athletic movements versus the typical squats and lunges and hip thrusts and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've been working really hard, and uh, I mean, I'm just, I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, Justine, I gotta tell you this. You look amazing from the front. And you know, I'm from Brazil. Glutes are everything. But when you turn around, Half of the audience almost had a heart attack. You got one of the best glutes in the world. This is not a Brazilian glute, but I tell you what, it's a 100% Canadian beef right here. <laughs> you gotta show them what you got here. They wanna see the fence, all of you guys. Please turn around and show them the best glutes in the world right here. Oh my God. People are gonna be going to the hospital after this. So, Justine, Today we're gonna to have a little bit of day off. No, we're gonna have a little bit of day off. It's the 4th of July. So we're gonna, happy 4th of July. What are you guys gonna to eat tonight? Come on. I mean, everybody wants to know this because it gets boring, you know, like, oh my God, I compete all the time. These girls are boring. They just compete. Tonight's not gonna to be like that. Tonight's the 4th of July. We're gonna eat something. We're gonna to party together. So what is the plan, Noi? What are you gonna eat and where are you gonna party? And don't tell me you're not going to party, you're not going to eat. Please lie. <laughs> I'm going to my room, and first of all, I'm taking a shower. That's priority. And then <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? after that, I, wanna, I want sushi. I just want rice. I'm Asian. What do you expect? Rice, 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 and soy sauce. <laughs> oh, okay. All you can eat sushi for Noi Alexander right here. Now, Tamara, what's, what's going to be? Oh, man, I'm in the sweets, so it's going to have to be something really high in sugar, maybe carbs, maybe some serious fats, donuts, maybe uh, maybe some tilapia. No, 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 we're not gonna allow any of the competitors to have tilapia, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. I'm gonna get myself in trouble. How about you, Justine, what's gonna be? I know you're planning for the Olympia, but today it's not fair. Today you're gonna have a day off. Kim Day is gonna give you a day off tonight. I'm actually just gonna have a big steak and sweet potatoes. No, 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 I no, know, no. I know, That's I know, you know Justine. I have not. I don't party, so I haven't drank in seven years. I don't do the club scene. I don't do the party scene. So the only thing that I really want to do is, like Noi said, have a shower. <laughs> but first and foremost, then it's gonna just be having a big, nice steak and a big sweet potato. Okay, that I like the way that you said steak and potatoes. <laughs> they are really, you really, you really in the heads this. Well, guys. You, go, you look amazing, ladies, tonight. Thank you so much for gracing the stage. The fans had a really a show with you guys tonight. This is the 4th of July with some of the most beautiful women in the world here. The next show, please stay tuned, is the California Night of the Champions. Don't miss out. Do not miss out. And that's going to be on sunny San Diego. So please join us for our next show on July 11th in San Diego, the night of the champions. See all you guys there. Bye-bye.